Hey YouTube, Puffy Water Chicken here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Figma Samus figure from Metroid. Before I start, I just want to say I love this figure. I love Figma. Definitely buy it. I 100% recommend it. So, I'm going to show you the box, then the accessories, and then the figure itself. So here's the box on the front. It has a nice window for viewing the figure. There's the top. There's the bottom. One side. Two side. And here is the back with some nice poses and Japanese writing. It comes in this plastic, which is a really nice packaging. Comes apart, the figure and accessories go inside, close it. Comes with the Figma bag, pretty nice accessory to keep the other accessories in. I love these bags, good, good part of Figma. Comes with these hands, which I will show you in extra detail in just a minute, and this nice little hand holder. Of course, it comes with the Figma stand, which disconnects at the base, just like that. Plugs into that little hole. It can twist. It bends right there, down at the bottom, in the middle, and at the top. And the top, of course, is where it plugs into the back. Comes with this little instruction manual, which is in Japanese, so... Oh well. These two blasts that plug into the end of the gun... A gun tip, which actually is the one that is on, that's the extra one, this is the one that it comes on. And Samus in the ball, which cannot transform or anything. Just in case you were wondering, it's just a ball. So, something just flew off. Looks like I just broke it. Oh well. Moving on, the hands, they all bend, they get really nice movement, and they can twist. They all have their own little pegs that just plug into this stand, or this little hand holder. They're all the left-handed hands because the right hand is the gun. So, there's a thumbs up, open hand, even more open hand, a hand for holding something. I don't know what Samus would have to hold because she doesn't come with anything. And this fist. The figure itself. The articulation. The head is a little bit limited. And actually, that is my only, I think, my only complaint about this figure is that the articulation isn't as awesome as a lot of the other Figmas. Take, for example, Pit, or the Attack on Titan figures, or the Sword Online figures. They all have really, really good articulation. I'm not saying that this one doesn't, I'm just saying it's not quite on par with those ones. Still a great figure, though, not a reason not to buy it. So the head, it can go side to side. I'm sure it could go all the way around, but it might get scratched, and I don't really want to force it. So it can't really go up and down much either. The shoulder I really like. It's on a joint that's kind of like a carrot, or not a carrot, an apple stem. I don't really know how to describe that. A piece symbol, three. One comes out of the shoulder, and then one goes up for the shoulder pad, and one goes down to connect to the arm. I, yeah, you can't see that. But anyway, so that allows the shoulder pad to move, and the shoulder itself to move. And the shoulder can go all the way around up a little bit, kind of restricted by the shoulder pad, but who cares, there's way around, there's ways around that, just lifting it up and going out. The arms bend, get some pretty good movement right there. They do not really twist as much as the other figures, I guess they do up here, but there isn't like a joint right here that can be twisted, which is something I don't love, but again, not a big problem. Same on this arm with the twisting. The hands, as I was saying earlier, they have really good, very good movement. And even if they don't, they can, they're can they pretty long little joints that go in there, so they can come out a little bit like that. That's still plugged in, but it's coming out. So you can get a ton of movement there. goes all the way around. Great, great joint. The stomach moves all the way around. can go up and down a little bit. That's pretty nice. The legs, wow. that's That's a lot, as you can see. They can't go side to side very easily, but again, ways around it, just twist it a little bit and it goes a little higher. The knees, huge angle on the knees. Love the knees. Can't go forward too much because of that, but who wants to bend their legs forward anyways? They don't twist, again, same as the arms, just up here, but doesn't really do much. Uh, I guess it does a little, but again, some a lot of figures have joints right there or right here that can twist. The feet go up quite a good amount and down quite a good amount. Of course this restricts it up a little bit but it's out enough to where it's fine. Also the toe bends and they go side to side. 
and I can't, it's not really shown too well, but yeah, there we go. You can see it going side to side. So, this little gun attachment just comes out pretty easily, slides back in there. There's a certain way it has to go. So it just slides back in. Pretty great. Both of these gun accessories just plug in just like that. Extremely poseable, so you can make any kind of movements and poses with that. So it's a great figure. I really like it. I would definitely recommend it. I hope you liked the review. Please subscribe, check out my other videos, and thank you for watching.